This is Steve Robbins. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. Listener Chris wrote in and asked, I'm a traveling healthcare worker and my car is basically my office. Any tips for those of us in the world of rolling offices to be more efficient and have our car not be so cluttered? Ah, Chris, you bring back memories of the good old days, living in my car, sleeping in the back seat, barbecuing over a campfire, having friends crowd in the back seat for a party until 4 a.m. Those were the days, said no one ever. The problem with cars is that there just isn't room for everything we need. You can't fit filing cabinets, large computer monitors, beer pong tables, or even a disco ball. But yet, we need those things to be a productive space. Now, I haven't actually run a business out of a car, but here's how I would organize things. And I love the way that you call your business mobile health care. Oh, wink, wink. Yes, officer. I'm just delivering prescription herbs. And that, well, that's, that's a talcum powder to help me deal with uh, chafing. My mental image of your car is that it's full of files and paperwork that relate to your clients and your business. It also has assorted rubber hoses, face masks, harnesses, and little devices that make beeping sounds when you connect them to a patient, like in the movies. Broadly speaking, you need to organize your papers and your things. As I discussed in my episode on keeping your online and offline files in sync, I recommend using the exact same groupings when you organize both the physical and the paper items. These groupings are people, projects, nouns, and verbs, roughly in that order. In a tight space, you want a space for everything and everything in its space. So grab yourself a portable file carrier from your favorite independent local stationery store. Stock it with a supply of blank file folders, removable file folder labels, and sticky notes. Every time you get some new paperwork, file it in the appropriate file. If you don't have an appropriate file, create one immediately and then file the paper in that. When you get physical things, equipment, specimen bottles, syringes, file those too. Now, you can't fit them in a physical file folder, so you create an imaginary file folder. Put a sticky note on the physical object labeled with the name of the person or project that it belongs to. And physically, put it by other objects that have sticky notes with the same imaginary file name. But what should those file names be? Group by person if possible. Since your job is oriented around patients, have a file folder, real or virtual, for each person that you must deal with. When you get paperwork or take notes or do anything involving that person, file the paper in that person's folder. When you visit a patient or you need to consult about a patient, just pull that person's file and you have everything involving them at your fingertips. Pull all the physical items that person will need and put them in one place. So when you visit them, you can just grab the syringes, bandages, splints, oxygen tanks, tongue depressors, nose plugs, and supersonic earwax remover and march right into the house ready for some exciting home medical action. Group by projects. You may find that you have projects that need files. If you're on a drive to clean the ear canals of everyone who lives within three miles of the Happy Brook Waste Processing Center, you have things that relate to the project, but not to any one patient. For example, the list of names and addresses, the reference sheet listing the symptoms of ear contamination, and the all-important liability release forms. Put those together in a file labeled Happy Brook Ear Project. That file corresponds to a project, not a patient. Group by nouns. Nouns are persons, places, or things. Well, you've already dealt with persons, so anything that isn't a person or a project may have some information to organize. You need to put the instruction manual for the new supersonic earwax removal device somewhere, and, where appropriate, create paper and virtual files for each noun that you have in your car, like the supersonic earwax removal device. And lastly, group by verbs. Anything that isn't a person or a project or a noun, that can be filed by verb. In your case, the verbs will probably be medical procedures. If there's a procedure for transplanting unused earwax from a healthy donor to a frail patient, you could create a file called earwax transfer. That's the verb. And in that file goes the instructions for the procedure. You might also have a file for the earwax transfer pump. That has the pump instructions in it and the pump itself with the little sticky note that says earwax transfer pump in your virtual file. Sometimes things may fall into two areas. If only one patient, Aloysius, uses the earwax transfer procedure, then the earwax pump manual could belong in Aloysius's file since that's the only time you're going to use it. Or the manual could go in the earwax pump file. So which is appropriate? File things in the file whose lifetime is the same. If Aloysius moves on or gets better, you will take Aloysius's file out of your car, but you'd still have the earwax pump, which will need a manual. 
And if Aloysius stays on but no longer needs the pump, you'll take the pump out and you should take the manual out with it. The earwax pump manual belongs in the file with the pump because the lifetimes match. When the earwax transfer pump breaks, you'll have no more use for the manual since the replacement pump comes with a new manual. When the earwax transfer procedure is superseded by a new procedure, however, you'll still have the machine, which might be useful for certain kinds of, I don't know, acne treatments. So the manual's lifetime corresponds to the machine, not the procedure. File it under the same file name as the pump, not the procedure. Prune regularly. At the end of the day, when you leave the car, take anything that's no longer needed. If a patient is moving away or you'll no longer need a piece of equipment, take it out. Regular pruning is the key to keeping a small space neat. Organize your car like you'd organize an office. Have files for papers and virtual files for objects. Name them the same if they go together. Group your files by person, project, thing, or action, whatever's most appropriate. And when something could go in multiple files, choose the file with the matching lifetime. Good luck, and don't run out of gas. This is Steve Robbins. Please tell your friends about this podcast and like Get It Done Guy on Facebook and share it on your timeline, because personal word of mouth is how we build our audience. I custom design workshops to help your business be more successful. The workshop even includes a musical performed by professional actors. See worklessanddomore.com for details and a video clip. Work less, do more, and have a great life. <laughs>